Um, it's Grace here, I'm one third of Off The Wall and today it's video one of our day one of our Off The Wall house residency. So we wanted, we had the pleasure of welcoming you with some abdominal exercises. So um, all of these exercises are developed and compiled for the purpose of vertical dance, um, specifically for getting strong for vertical dance and for staying strong for vert vertical dance. So all you vertical dancers out there, this is one for you. If you'd like to get strong for vertical dance and uh, come to our to guys come to our workshops, um, then this is another brilliant exercise for you. So uh, vertical dance. Uh, uses a lot of core stability and it works like 360 degrees around there um, working those deep core stabilizing muscles uh, in order to make dancing on walls look ultra easy and then we can put all the flourishes on top so throughout the following exercises try when possible to keep your spine really long and your head in line with your spine looking up towards the sky and your legs low and imprinting your lower back when indicated there are moments when the this isn't needed, but when you can, always find that because that will. This is in order to replicate the standing on the wall. We'll be working um, through those deep core muscles, the transversus abdominis, and we're working through the obliques, the internal external obliques, and your back extensors. Um, so before we start, uh, just so you know, this is these exercises are not suitable for people that are pregnant um, or have just had a baby. Um, or are recovering from any injuries or issues with their body. So this is for a healthy individual that would like to get a little bit stronger. And throughout this, we'll be working at a little bit of a pace. So please take this in your at your own pace. If you need to pause the video and take a break at any point, please, please do look after your bodies um, and please take responsibility for your own body. But other than that, let's crack on. Lying on the back of the mat, just finding an imprinted spine, shoulders nice and relaxed, down away from your ears. We're going to take a lovely deep breath in. As you breathe out, we're going to just rotate from your waist all the way up through to sitting and then all the way back down towards the floor, imprinting your spine as you go. And really, as you do this, trying to stabilise your pelvis as much as you can and try and get as much rotation through the spine side to side as you go. Keep your lower back connecting to the floor. Keep your breath flowing as you rotate side to side. Keep going. We're going to do 10 repetitions here. And breathing out to come down. Good. Try and feed every part of your spine as you roll up into the mat before you come up to sitting. If you want to increase this challenge, you can extend those legs. If you would prefer to um, decrease the challenge, you can just go up and down without these rotations. Keep the neck nice and long, <laughs> keep breathing, and really articulate through the spine, pressing those thighs together. I think we're nearly there. Keep breathing, shoulders down your back. This may be, I think this is the ninth one. And then breathing out to rotate. And then this is your last one. Make it a good one. Scoop in the belly button to your spine. And as you come back, we're going to go halfway down and we're going to hold it there. No, we're not. We've got one more. Good, and now we're going to do 20 rotations, a little bit quicker, side to side, stabilising through the pelvis. Keep going, keep breathing, and then lower yourself down towards the floor. Really, really nice. Now from here, imprint your lower back, tilt the pelvis, rotate out from the hips, and then we're just going to open and close those legs. If you want more challenge, you can press the back of your rib cage down into the floor and float the head off, really looking skyward and press every part of your spine down onto the floor. We've now changed to flexed feet, so your heels are drawing together. Think inner thighs to inner thighs and really drawing the belly button towards your spine here. Last one and bend the knees. Wonderful. Extending for 10, 9, eight, seven, six, five, four, 
three, head down, two, one. Now keep it here and circle right from the hip with 10 circles, drawing the belly to your spine, imprint that lower back for three, two, one. One, I think I'll do an extra couple here just for the, the sake of it. Changing for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Keep breathing, 2, 1. Same side, but flex the foot and go in the opposite direction. The aim here is to really stabilise through those deep abdominal muscles. The leg is trying to destabilise you. Last one to change for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, four, three, two, one, and one extra to change legs, although I think I counted that right. So you should be on the other leg now. Keep circling, drawing the belly button towards the spine. Last one, and another. Oh, I did them both on the same leg straight away. Great, well, don't worry about doing the, them in between. Good, from here, we're gonna sit up, imprint your lower back, and your arms and legs extend away and drawing them back in. Belly button towards your spine, head lengthening away, neck nice and long and holding for 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good, well done for 4, 5, 4, and 3. Keep drawing the belly button to imprint into the mat, 2, Hold it out for the next one, zip up the abdominals, and for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good. Rolling over onto your side. <laughs> Thumbs up from me. Here we go. Up onto your elbow, elbow underneath your shoulder, and hip lifts up towards the ceiling for 10 of these. 8, 9, 10. Hold it there, and then your top leg's going to lift for 5, 4, Three, with a smile, two, one. 10 more hip lifts, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Overarm reaches for five, four, three, two, one. Lovely hip lifts for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Right from underneath the waist and leg lifts. Really stabilising through the spine for three, two, and one. And hip lifts, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Arm overhead, try not to lean forwards here. Really stay stacked nicely from a long line through your body, then relax. Other side, straight away, why not? Onto your elbow, lift the hips, arm up to the sky for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and lift for five, four, three, two, with a smile, one, and lift, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, arm overhead for five, four, three, and two, keep breathing, one, hip lifts again, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, Five. Keep those hips stacked, try not to lean forwards. And as you do your five, four, three, two, one. Hip lifts again, right from underneath your waist. Keep going. Really think about the obliques underneath, lifting you up. Good. And then arm. The arm just increases a little bit more effort through the spine, through the abdominals. And then lower yourself down. Spin yourself round onto the other side and we're going to go for our side sausages. So we're going to lengthen your arms and your legs away. Good. The less contact you have on the floor, the more tricky it is. And try and keep your head in line with your spine as we hold it here. Hold and smile as she grimaces. <laughs> in, really press your inner thighs together before we start walking. Try and do some slow motion walks on the spot for another eight of these. Keeping the legs long. Try and keep your head in line with your spine and try not to press too much of your upper arm down on the floor. As you can see, I'm pressing quite a lot here. Try and lengthen away and we're gonna hold again. Keep holding, keep smiling, keep breathing. Keep those hips stacked, you've got this. I'm gonna do side crunches. Try and draw the rib cage down towards your hips and then your hips up to your rib cage. Try not to press down on that underneath arm if you can. I'm very tempted to do that here. Try not to bend your top elbow <laughs> like I'm doing here. We're going to roll with control onto your centre. 
press your pubic bone into the floor as we paddle up and down. Keep breathing as we do this. Draw the shoulders down your back, lengthen those legs away, strong spine, strong abdominals. Keep breathing, holding, and then we're gonna roll back as one unit. Try and roll and hold. Well done, other side. Side sausage on the other side. Reach through the fingertips, reach with the toes, draw the shoulders down your back, head in line with your spine. Lovely, hold it here. Notice if it's different on this side. Keep drawing the belly button towards your spine, reaching through the fingers, try not to press too much onto the bottom arm. And start walking on the spot. Backwards and forwards, keeping a strong center. And I'm still smiling. Try and smile with me as, as I grimace. Here we go. Really, really well done. These are really challenging. And we're gonna hold again. Just check your alignment of your head. Keep reaching through the fingertips. Keep those hips stacked. And we're gonna get ready for our side crunches. Here we go. Lifting up, ribs down towards your hips. Almost like mermaids. That's it, really, really nice. Keep going, this is our last push. And you are nearly done. Well done, really, really well done. Claps for you. Ready for video two, coming soon.